Welcome back to our in-depth adventure through Elden Ring, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, Let's Play Dark Souls HD, and today we have one seriously challenging fight ahead of us. As most of you are aware, I would like to think that most of you know what's going on with this playthrough if you've made it 77 episodes deep with me, but we have covered pretty much the majority of the game at this point. We do have a couple biomes and areas left that we haven't covered yet. We've got like Faramazula, which is out here, hence it's blank. We don't have the map for that yet. And then we have all of the Forbidden Lands, which is the snow biome. And then we have the Halig Tree, which is up here. But uh, we're going to be heading into the capital today, which is super exciting. But before we go there, there's a couple things that we haven't done yet. And like I mentioned before in all the previous episodes up to this point, I want to try to do every single thing I can before we actually go into the capital. So what we're going to do today is we have some unfinished business right here. If that looks familiar to you, it should, because we're going to go try to take on those three NPC invaders in front of the giant Jarzilla, if you will. Quickest way there is to just go to the deep sea over here. Well, and uh, we do not mess with that rune bear, by the way. We don't. I don't know if he responds or not. I couldn't tell you. Uh, there he is. Oh, Jesus. Nope. All I can see is his back fur, and I'm already like, nope. Okay, so let's take a look at our drip, shall we? And we have, uh, we are going full blown Briar Killer today. No bandit mask. We are doing the Briar gauntlets and greaves and helmet with the Omen Killer robe. And I think this looks really damn good, particularly with the spear, it looks good. Like this armor combination almost looks better with the spear than Vike's own armor, which we should get once we get it to the Forbidden Lands. There's a lot of good stuff waiting for us that we haven't gotten yet because we just can't get it yet. So we're gonna just truck through here, not worry about these little explodey boys. We're going to go straight for this golem, because obviously he's going to shoot at us and give us trouble. Like, why wouldn't he, right? Of course he would. Alright, listen, man. Oh, that was not supposed to happen. Come on. There we go. Get another hit. So, thrust damage is quite effective against these guys. Wow. Thanks for the assist, man. Don't shoot me, though. That's where I draw the line. You can shoot my enemies for me, but please don't shoot me. And he... wow. Oddly enough, did not drop anything. That's actually kind of strange. <laughs> um, that guy almost always drops at least an arrow or something. Or I would say the uh, <clears throat> the rate at which he drops actual golem great bows is actually quite high, too. You can farm it super easy off of him if you're trying to get it and haven't been able to so far. And, yeah, we're going to kill these guys because even though they're not our focus, we're not trying to fight these guys for any reason. We have to because, there we go, because this guy's going to shoot at us while we try to take on our adversaries up here, and that's going to create issues. All right, so now we're going to head up here. No, I'm not going to use the stupid cheese method with the, the cliff and whatever. I'm not going to do that. That's, that's a no-go. We're actually going to beat these guys fair and square. Now the question is, which one do I want to fight first? My ploy with these guys... I should probably get rid of that. I'm not going to need it. Um, my ploy with these guys is I really want... Maybe not that guy. Oh god, the sorcerer is so bad. Where's the sorcerer? I don't see the sorcerer, interesting enough. Okay, whatever. We'll do this guy first. He'll be easiest. My ploy with these guys is I'm really going to try to take advantage of, like, the whole frenzied flame thing, right? Like... Alright, here we go.
Can you use that holy slam against me? Nice try, buddy. There we go. Thank God they don't heal. <laughs> How the hell did that miss? Yeah, this guy is super easy. He's not a problem at all. Some of the others can be incredibly bad, though. Like, that guy... He's always the one that I would opt to fight first because his attacks are incredibly limited. This guy, though... This dude's bad. The Sorcerer is a huge pile of yuck. I'm gonna save him for last. This guy is easy. This guy's got, like, poison on him. He does, like, a poison blade type thing with that dagger. And he'll parry your ass. That's about all you have to worry about with him, though. So let's do this. We should really keep all of our buffs going for these guys. So this guy... He'll bounce, so you can kind of just do that. Now, you do have to be careful, though, because this guy... Even though he'll bounce off your shield with the dagger, sometimes, not always. If he two hands it, he won't bounce. But uh, with this guy, he can actually parry your guard counter, which is, like, really shitty. It's super annoying. If you're not fast enough. Like, the Great Spear, honestly, isn't fast enough, to be honest. Like, I'm surprised he blocked right there. He almost always parries. But, yeah. Oh, yeah. Fuck you. Get frenzied. <laughs> this is going quite well. So now, we're going to make one more of these each. As you never know, we might run out. I'm trying to think. We could poison him. I have other means of poisoning him, though. I could just use a bow or something if I want, or pots. Uh, all right. So this next guy is truly awful. He's a doozy. So let's do this, shall we? Let's look for our magic one. There it is boost our sorceries um, because he has less health and he'll die a little bit easier than the other ones but his damage is significantly higher like I think the only one that out of here that has higher damage than him is the one that has Radon's swords that might be the only one but let's do this all right I really Really want to frenzy this guy. And really don't want to get one shot by him. So instead of trading, I'm going to try to charge attack as he comes out of the ground and hope it lands. Okay. Jeez, old Pete's. Oh my god. Yep, here we go. No, 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 no. Okay. Right. Come here, you. There we go. Oh my god, yeah, this guy is... He's bad, man. Huh. Right through the shield, man. There's always lag with that. Come here. Oh, God. Mm -mm. Hooey. I mean, I'll, I'll turtle trade with you if I have to, man. Well, he tried to parry me just now. Did you see that? This guy is so dangerous. <laughs> Look at that damage through the shield. Absurd. All right. Maybe we can try to mess. Oh, God. There it goes. You can try this. Okay. That actually worked kind of well to get him out of my grill. God, I do not want a two-hand against this guy. That's a terrible idea. This guy is still not frenzied, and we're getting, like, consistent damage against him. Why does he keep spamming that? Huh. 
god. He does so much fucking damage. <laughs> Even through my shield. Terrible. Ugh. Horrible. Eat. Mm. Yeah, there we go. Barricade shield, do your thing. Yeah, what are you gonna do, man? Yeah! I win. Give me the talisman. Right, the Great Jar's arsenal. Wasn't so bad. He doesn't have anything new to say. So this is the big boy version of what Nephili gives you. Why am I under talismans? Or, or, not talismans, God. Um, so, yeah. Vastly raises my equipment list. So my it'll go from 81.5 to 96.9. That's pretty considerable. It doesn't seem like the biggest boost on paper. Like, it doesn't seem absurd, but it really is. Like, this could take me up an entire, like, level of gear. Like, it'd give me... I could have the Jar Cannon and the Sword of the Darkness Flame equipped at the same time if I wanted to. That's that's pretty formidable. So I'm going to go back to this. I know this is supposed to look like a congregation, but every time I look at this talisman, all I can think of is a spider. Like the red things look like the eyes. I don't know. Looks pretty cool to me because I feel like I'm like part of the 1% of humanity that's not actually scared of spiders. Like they don't bother me. So, well, that's not fair for me to say. I don't live in like Australia, okay? Like where I live... We don't have Sydney funnel web spiders and other omens of death that'll kill you with one bite. Like, we don't have that shit where I live, but maybe I'd feel different about spiders if, if we did. But as it sits, the worst thing we have here is black widows and brown recluses, and those don't bite me because I've already been bit by both. So. If you follow this heroic path, it cannot come. Okay, nothing new. And uh, it has occurred to me that I have ended. Zarias's quest line, unfortunately. I gave her the vial. I should have spiked her drink. Uh, this door, we don't have to worry about this door because it says it's blocked shut, and that's because we've already been to the other side of it. That's where the, the perfumer Ashes was at. Uh, Carmen, I think was her name. Padges is still here. He's not going to move until... What's her face? Uh, Tanith? Whatever. What's Is that her name? Tan I, don't, I don't know. Um, she has to go into the boss room in order for him to move. And he'll be outside of the Poison Village boss, the one whose armor we're wearing, as a matter of fact. So nothing new going on here. Just wanted to come check anyway to see if something was going on. Doesn't look like it. So that tells me that because we've pretty much done everything now that we can do, I would say at least, I mean, none of the underground places have anything for us. I think it's time to head into the capital and start making some progress via there. So let's do it. Now the Frenzied Flame worked out pretty good against those guys. They are tarnished that you're fighting, after all, so... Um... Alright. No Bach? Oh, there he is. Hi, Bach. I hope you're doing okay, man. You just stay put. Daddy's got to go to work. Oh, fuck yeah. Look at this shit, man. Oh, yeah. Holy shit. What a cool level. Man, I'm excited for this. Oh. And that. Right there. Do you see this? Do you see this giant golden spear that's just ripping through the city into the earth? That is is the prize. That is what I've been busting my ass to get to 40 dexterity for. That spear is going to be one of our main weapons. We already tried to open this before, once we got here. It doesn't open from this side. Makes sense. So now what we're going to do is, well, like I said, like I told Bach, we're just going to go to work. So these weird trumpet creatures are weak to thrust damage. Strike damage and slash damage aren't, like, super useful against them, but in my testings, thrust damage seems to rip them apart quite easily. They have supersonic hearing, though. And then they roll away, which is kind of stupid, but... They can hear you really well, and, uh... 
let's take a look at what we're dealing with here. We have several of them. They play the trumpet and it causes the bubbles to home in on you. And uh, I watched my friend Jeremy actively use that bubble blowing ability on a boss. And if you're up against something that's big enough to take like all the bubbles and get hit by every single one in that special attack, damage can be quite disgusting, kind of similar to Reign of Arrows. But we have bigger versions of them, and that in particular, the one he's using, that is the weapon you can get, like the spiral trumpet thing. Now, the reason I want to kill these guys as soon as possible is because I truly hate the sound of that thing. Like, I hate listening to them play this stupid trumpet. Look at that. Yeah, knock them down as soon as you can. Oh no, I need to do equip my bow back. But I'll do it in a second. Let's see how this does. Pretty good. Alright. How about this? <laughs> I did well too. Alright. Very enjoyable to play around with. Okay. So let's do this, shall we? We'll do two of these. Two of these. And two of these. That's... I don't know if you noticed on my bar. That's kind of how I have it. I have two, two, and two because I have six of these vials total, uh, perfume bottles, rather. I do the blood boil one, which raises my attack, um, the uplifting one, which gives me kind of like another bubble, sort of like the opaline tier, and uh, then the spark one. And that seemed to work out pretty well, even against the insanely powerful jar soldiers. So, <clears throat> now what we're gonna do, before I forget, is we're going to equip the bow because polling is going to be a very good idea in this place. Our pulley bow at plus seven does quite well. See, look, that's absurd. They can hear me. Like, I'm sneaking and everything, and he still heard me. All right, I'm going to try to get backstab on this guy because he has a lot of health. Like, he doesn't just look bigger <laughs> than the other ones, he is considerably more powerful. He's uh, tankier. How the hell? Dude, just die. Like, don't even. Don't give me any problems. And then we have another one of these malformed gargoyles over here. He's super easy to deal with, though. Um, this level in particular... Oh, yeah, look at that down there. You can see a little bit of what we're going to deal with. Uh, can I jump without dying, please? Without dying? Come on. It seems very dangerous. I really don't want to risk it, but... Um, you can actually see him from here already. Damn it! <laughs> you damn game, you're bogarting me. Um, maybe full screen it, and you'll see what I'm talking about, but that's one of those, like, red... red-maned uh, lion guys that always has the iron sword. Um, pretty cool. That whole area down there is going to be interesting to traverse. There's going to be a bunch of misbegotten down there. We can actually see one of them patrolling already, and couple of them are stationary just like they were at the weeping peninsula oh boy see this big ass dead dragon that dragon is significantly bigger than any dragon that we will actually fight of this origin like that resembles the true dragons like this guy and then what's another thing we can look at before we actually start going through we can see fanged imps on the rooftops waiting to give us all the grief in the world they're going to cause us quite a bit of trouble and then there's going to be knights like laying down knights down below that are super freaking strong they're going to kick our ass probably but hey that's part of the fun right it's part of the fun all right so what we can do here is there's really no right or wrong way to do it. I mean, you can just bum rush the gargoyle, or you can jump down there and get to him. It really doesn't matter. I mean, I just kind of do this. Like, to me, it doesn't matter, so... get these runes and then to me it's a little more strategic to be able to hit these guys from that room instead of going down the steps here you know like to me I feel like it's just better so 
going into this place, we're going to deal with pages now. We can actually see one right in front of us. But if we're quiet... I can't remember if there's one in the doorway or not, though. Alright. Doesn't look like it. Try not to step on the pots or anything. Let's clean this guy up. Right, got some bolts. And then in these rooms that have all the foliage, like these plant covered rooms, it's easy to miss items in here. Like there are there are several items that are kind of tucked away in them. Like not this time, like there isn't one on this level, but you'll see down here, I'll show you. There's an item kind of tucked off that's super easy to miss. If you're not looking at least. Now I would urge you to keep your shield up. Like, you see that? Look how easy it'd be to miss that. I would urge you to keep your shield up inside these plant-covered rooms because the pages really blend in. Like, it's, it's totally hard to see them, and they'll come out of nowhere and start stabbing the shit out of you, shooting you with perfume bolts, like... All the stuff you don't want them to do, they're gonna do. So I'm just gonna spam backstabs here and uh, take advantage of the iframes, you know? Like, you see how smooth that went? Because I just took advantage of uh, the invincibility frames from backstabbing. Come here, you. You'll cause no trouble today. Okay. Gonna be more pages in here, I think. I'm gonna sneak. But instant I see one, I'm throwing my shield up. Yep, there he is. Look at that. Look how mean that is. Make sure there's not another one. Doesn't look like it. All right. Damn it. I did not mean to attack. That was strange. Nope. Okay. Seems like an awfully low level smithing stone. But whatever. And then I don't think there's anything kind of tucked away in this one. I think this room is what it is. It's just empty. Minus the obvious item. Goodness. It's just like one arrow. Did almost half our health. Ridiculous. And then that leads us back to where the gargoyle was. So. Check that out. A little hidden path you would have never seen. How very interesting indeed. Now that's one thing that is uh, super challenging about this level in particular is it's not just the difficulty of the enemies that we have to worry about. It's uh, it's a lot more than that. With the capital, it's very similar to the Volcano Manor in that there are lots of hidden items kind of tucked away and the game sort of dangles them in your face, right? Like you'll see them hanging off of a ledge or something and then you'll rack your brain trying to figure out how to get to it. But that's why I'm here to help because I feel that... In my playthrough, my well, my first one at least, my first full playthrough of this game that I did not record or share with you guys, shame on me, um, I feel like I got every single item in the capital because I double-checked it, I cross-referenced it with the wiki just to make sure I got everything because Fextra's wiki is, is literally your bible when it comes to soul games, but uh, I got everything on my first run and I'm pretty confident that I remember where everything is, so what I'm going to do... For these folks is I'm gonna pull this person with a heat beam eye blast come out of here maybe I'll just finish them since they're not doing anything oh yeah our damage is good man <laughs> with this like 200 damage per shot it's pretty good with a bow it's if it's considered just a pulling item um, why do I feel like that's not the only perfumer well, I'm not going to dwell on it. Now, these guys, never be afraid to hit a corpse, man. Like, if you're not sure, if you're walking through the area and you're just like, oh, you look alive, hit them. You have nothing to lose. There's no durability in this game, so you're not going to break your weapon. You can hit as much shit as you want, as many times as you want. So, through here, we have two different tiers we can go to. There's down below, which... I knew it. My gut was right. There's another perfumer, which is fine. 
can deal with them just fine. And then we have the ladder that goes up, and then there's just straight forward. So I'm going to opt for up first. And I really like navigating through the capital a lot. This is a this is a super challenging level. It's uh, it's not quite as bad as the shunning grounds, but I would say a little hidden chest here that you would totally miss if you weren't looking. Um, I would say over the course of this level, I'm yes for sure gonna die. I guarantee you something is gonna do me in. Something's gonna outsmart me, out damage me, out something me, and. Uh, this is the section where we'll get on the roofs to get to the fanged imps, but we're not going to do that yet. We're going to go take care of these perfumers. And there's a couple different ways you can deal with this part. We do have a, like a goon sitting there with them who doesn't pose any kind of threat, but then we have two perfumers that are quite dangerous. Um, what I recommend you do... I can hear more trumpets... I kind of recommend you do this. You run past these guys since if you sneak, they're not really going to do anything. Um, there's a page back here. We'll get this guy and then we'll be smart and we'll pull the perfumer. But uh, that's probably the smartest way to deal with this part. I would, I would think. Man. Too bad the fire doesn't actually stagger them. That'd be really cool because I really really love the frenzied flame ability on this spear it's phenomenal but the problem is it leaves you open damn it demon souls upper class robe we can look pretty if we want i feel pretty oh so pretty we might actually wear that later and give it a shot but it's not smart to do right now because we need defense right now like the amount of extra damage we'd be taking right now just if we were Using the, uh, what you call it? That's where we just took the elevator now. Just to put things into perspective. There's our first Landell Knight. Yuck. Um, if we were wearing the Bandit Mask right now, that alone would be creating, like, a huge gap in our defense. Like, this Briar Helmet is way better than the Bandit Mask. It just doesn't look as cool. Um, let's see what we want to do. I kind of want to see if we can put these guys to sleep. Oh, come on. You stop that. My experimentations are valid, damn it. <sighs> come on. No shit! Oh, okay, you can't. They... That makes sense. It's fine. How about this? Wow, that just straight kills them. Okay, let's, let's try it again. <laughs> All right, <laughs> the thing, this, like, wow. I know there's quite a few people that probably would have given me shit if I had continued upgrading the Halo Scythe, which, you're welcome, by the way. That's not something I'm going to use in this level at all because everything is resistant to it here. But um, that's something that a lot of people would have given me shit for is if I kept upgrading the Halo Scythe. But y'all should be glad I'm not using my... Somber smithing stones on this thing. Like, if I plus 10 this thing, it'd get us through the rest of the fucking game. It's so damn strong. All right. Now we're going to head up. What do we got? Another seedbed curse, I think. There's no way somebody isn't waiting for me to grab it, though. Huh. Maybe. All right. There's our second item for Shit Eater Steve. The Loathsome Dung Eater. And I don't think there's anything else to do up here. None of these window sills are obvious. or doesn't look like you can jump out them, obviously. It doesn't seem to be any kind of secret up here. So let's head back down. And now we're going to go... Now we're going to go do that lower level of where we just came from. Can I just drop, like... No point in taking that ladder. Are you kidding me? All right, and then I think you should be able to get to that lower level from right here, so. Damn it. Yeah, here we go. 
This is ideally the way that you want to get down here. I'm probably going to alert the damn perfumers, though, if I keep breaking shit. So I should probably try to be a little more careful. We're going to get an interesting sword item down here. It's going to be, going to be kind of wacky. Okay, and that's to get out to the main courtyard. We're not going to do that yet. All right. So it's not always smart to fight these guys first because, as you saw, we have perfumers we need to deal with. It looks like one of them is already alert. So let's do this. Um, I need as much damage as possible before I unleash the tiger talisman on this page. And I recommend pulling the page. Like, this page is tanky, man. You see that? I recommend pulling the page because if you pull the perfumer or try to hit the perfumer, you're just going to make the page come after you, right? And he's more aggressive, whereas the perfumer kind of stays stationary. All right, I'm going to get rid of you just because. Listen, man. Yeah, that's what I thought. I was going to say... Man, they have, like, an odd amount of poise. We got a high page hood. I've never picked that up before. Let's take a look. Oh, God, it's so ugly. All right. I'm going to heal up. Oh, got some shoes. I guess we could wipe these guys. Doesn't matter. We're going to go in there in just a second. All right, there's a perfumer right there, and then there's a perfumer standing over there. He should not hear me. This one will, though. So let's do this, shall we? Oh, no. No, 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 no. Cannot believe I just whiffed like that. All right, so we killed that one in time to be able to get this one. I ain't blocking this spear, man. This is like, this is literally the frenzied flame sharpened into an angry spike. Like, good luck. Grab this guy. Warming stones. Those are pretty nice to have in an emergency, I'll tell you that. Okay, and then this here is yet another way out into the courtyard. We can see one fanged imp. We can see a lane down knight just chilling there. Must be on break. All right, let's see about this. Let's see if we can... That's not going to one-shot him. Um, this won't hit him, I don't think. I'm going to try. Oh my god, it hit him. That's hilarious. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, shit. Well... Now, I suppose, is a good time to have our first confrontation with one of these fucking assholes. Nice try. So, your best bet with these guys, 100%, and I tell you this from experience, is either thrust damage or strike damage. They have that big thick armor, so they really do not care if you slash away at them with, like, a sword. What you want to use is you want to use some kind of spear or a halberd or something that has Miranda powder. Let me know. You want something that has some kind of thrust damage or something that will do strike. And we could have snuck up and backstabbed the guy if we came through the door right here, but we made noise over there, so he heard us. All good, though. Yeah, this guy's got his back to us. We should totally take advantage of that. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to Golden Vow, get us a damage boost, because I'm pretty sure... Pretty sure other enemies are going to try to come in and veen during this fight. Yeah, look at that. There's a soldier... So let's do this, shall we? Um, that guy's going to stand up no matter what. So let's get this free backstab. 
Knock his health down. There we go. Golden Bow gave us the opportunity to one-shot that guy. And that lightning damage is absurd. Like, this is a great shield to have here because it blocks... Well, it does not block very much lightning damage. Uh, it does better than everything else we have, though, except this. That'll do three more points. That does 40. Okay, but it's heavy. I mean, we can't really... Okay, we can fast roll. Never mind. Um, I think our stability is still better with this, though. Yeah, so we can block more damage with this, unfortunately. This thing would be good if we're running into something that's just like straight lightning damage. And this even has good lightning <laughs> resistance. It's got... The Icon Shield has... Or the, it's the Adjudicator Shield, basically. It has 51. That's pretty good. This has poor lightning resistance, but it's got way more stability than everything else. There's no getting in any of these doors. They're literally welded shut. I don't know what kind of tool they used to do that or what the reasoning was behind it, but they did it. I mean, the lands between is a free country. They can do whatever they want. Okay, I could have swore there was an interesting sword item in there, like some kind of cane sword or something like that. I, I don't know. Maybe I'm getting confused with something else. Alright. So now what we're going to do, as confusing as it sounds, we're going to go back up again. <laughs> and, uh... Yeah, why do I feel like it was in here? Like... Or maybe it's back here? I'm not satisfied. I feel like we're missing something. Strange. Ooh. He's playing a flute. Are you alone? Well, in the grand scheme of things, I suppose we all are, but sit still. Red branch shortbow. There we go. That is the tier of smithing stone that I wanted, that I needed, and I do not want to jump down and go through there. I simply do not. Is it dark? Are you guys not able to see? That might help. Okay, where the hell is it, man? I swear. Is it behind a hidden wall or something? I swear there was some kind of cane sword or something like that that was supposed to be down here. I guess not. Man, that's what I get. That's what I get for saying, I did pretty good on my first run through here. That's what I fucking get. All right. Um, now what I want to do is, not that, I don't want to fall, jeez, I want to start making the journey to get the roof items, because I want to do that first. So, my general idea to try to get this place cleared and get all the stuff is top to bottom, man, that's the, that's going to be the method. We'll start from the roofs and stuff, work our way down to the streets. So, this part is kind of confusing, right? Like, is that another perfumer over there? Yes, it is. You guys didn't know that, did you? You can jump and shoot. <laughs> Pretty damn funny. Whatever. We can... Can heat be my blast this guy. Never mind. He's gonna walk towards me. <laughs> Alright. Um, I don't... You. Awful creatures. There's another one. You gotta go. Oops. And that was just a puppy. That one died in one hit. Alright, and then we got another one down there. Yeah! Alright, um, 
I don't want to go this way first because I don't think I can get back up to this roof from that roof in front of us. So what I'll do is I'm actually going to start working my way over here across these ones. Now we need to watch for those imps because the, and then there's, see, look at this. Hell yeah, good items, easy to miss. Uh, we need to watch out for these imps because they are problematic up on these roofs. Like they'll, it's, it's, the pathfinding is very strange with the imps in this level because if you knock them down, like if you don't actually finish the job and kill them as you fight them up on these roofs, it's kind of a waste of time because their pathfinding will keep them down on the streets and they won't be able to find their way back up. And then you're going to have to fight them alongside laying down knights. And that's absurd. Like that's just, a, that's a difficulty that you just want to avoid altogether. And I think they did that on purpose. Like I truly believe that Miyazaki was like, you know what would be worse than fang dims on roofs and laying down knights down below on the streets? is if the player character I should be able to make this is if the player character had to fight them at the same time <laughs> like you know what's worse than both of these both of them at the same time oh wow that was ridiculously close okay and then I mean I could mash this guy right now, like this would be super easy, but I probably should just go down there and fight him fairly. Damn it. Yeah. They have so much health and damage absorption, stupid. Nice! Alright. So now, I'm going to try to take this guy down before the other one finds his way over to me, because I aggroed them both like a dumbass. Surprised he didn't find his way over here yet. It's kind of freaky. Okay, shield up. Pesky alleyways. Nice. Look at that. I wonder what you guys are doing. Garden a purple item. Okay, and then we'll make our way back up to the roof momentarily. A big circle we just went in. So I guess that guy can't find his way over to us. That's fine with me. Pick your battles. Frenzied Flame should go over the hill. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, like, not kill him, because, you know... Ay, 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 ay. Of course that didn't work. Hey, man. I have a rock. Get Dwayne Johnson. Okay, now I would like to get over there, but I cannot. Um, I think I went the wrong way. It's probably what I did. Imagine that, me doing something wrong. Yeah. All right, let's see. I'm gonna do the old run and jump. Hey! All right. <laughs> I'm a professional. Okay, fang dimp up there, fang dimp over there. All right, two of these will work. Oh, come on. No, 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 no. Mine's better than yours. There we go. Goodness, that almost became an ordeal. And now I want to fight this one. All right, don't let me down, rock. Nice. Oh, that was awesome. Really? I just hit you with a rock, and you're gonna sit there and throw something at me? Like, I don't know about you, man. Maybe we lead different lives, but if something threw a rock at me, I would get pissed off enough to want to go throw hands with it. Like, that's personal. Like, if I'm at the zoo, and a monkey lands a hit on me with 
anything, whether it's a rock, shit, a banana, I don't care what it is. I'm going in that cage. It's all at war. Okay, I see more fanged imps, and one of them has a great sword. <laughs> That's ugly. All right, let's do this. Let's try to conserve our mana a little bit. No, he's going to do what I'm afraid of. I have to kill you. Don't you dare go down there. And no, it's not worth switching to a strike weapon for these guys because the... Uh, Thrust is the secondary damage type against these guys that, that works pretty well, so I would say just keep that. We don't have anything that can one-shot these guys. We really don't. Like, maybe this might. If it'll hit. No, see, it didn't. And that's what I was afraid of. Good lord. All right. Let's just get the item. Stone sword key. Thank you. All right. And then now we should just have the sword guy left and then one more up there that we couldn't reach quite. So let's get it. All right. Sword guy. I'm not worried about trying to hurt him before we make it to him. We're just going to fight him. Bro, don't you dare. He's in the roof. It's kind of funny. Oh, I'm not going to be able to hit him. Whatever. This one you definitely don't want to fall down. Like, you got to kill his ass. Okay. So that should be the, the majority of the roof items. I don't, I don't visibly see anymore. We have one Fang Dimp that we didn't kill because he's up there. We couldn't reach him. Maybe. I see a purple item. I see laying down knights. And soldiers. One has a trumpet. That's not good. We do not want to deal with the doot doot. Okay, I think our last fang dimp is going to be up there. Um, okay. Where do we go from here? Here, I'm gonna try to be a little strategic about this. No, sir. You won't be blowing any trumpets today. It's time to finish him off. There we go. You can go to sleep forever. Try to be a little smart about this, you know. Hey! You don't hear anything, man. You literally don't. Oh, shit. Oh, he dropped a tier 5. Nice, the Golden Great Shield. We already picked that up once, so that's not a big deal that we got that. But if you haven't yet, that's kind of a big deal. Oh, boy. So we got soldiers right here. Deal with these guys, and then we'll go get that purple item. These guys are tanky, man. Wait a minute. Okay, I have the right talisman on. I kept thinking, what's one way I could squeeze just a little more damage out of all this? Because, I mean, look at that. They just barely don't die in one hit. Talisman would have done that. Oh, yeah. And that killed him in one hit, particularly because I was at optimal distance. And no, y'all are not escaping the sweep. Imp head corpse version. Good thing we don't run into that, whatever, where's that, because that'd be freaking horrifying. Um, oh, it gives us additional faith. Two points, as a matter of fact. It's heavy, though. 
8.1 units. Jeez, Pete's. I doubt we could still fast roll with that on. No way, we totally can. Oh god, that's ugly though. <laughs> that's like something out of your nightmares. Um, what's our damage? 638? Okay. It only gives us three points of damage. Which, would that, would that arguably one-shot these enemies like I was just complaining about? Sure, probably. All right, we need to be sneaky this part. No, 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 no. All right, just wanted to get rid of that guy. No lingering soldiers anywhere. Okay, doesn't look like it. So this part, it seems a little bit cramped and claustrophobic, and, and it is, but I just want to try to clear this bottom part before we, before we forget anything down here. Thick swollen veins. All right. That about clears the bottom portion. There's an Erd Tree Avatar down here that appears, I think. All right. Um, and then there's also a freaking Ulcerated Tree Spirit. God, game just loves throwing those at you. So let me let me think for a second and get my bearings. So before we start heading towards the Lightning Bolt. Which, that's, yes, that's how I associate that direction in this level, is I say towards the lightning bolt. My, like, sense of geography is quite messed up in this area. But I'll do my best to explain it to you as we go. So, I want to point something out first. We're going to open this big door. Open the gates! Splendor, demon majesty! Where did the candle mask come from? That's hilarious. If you're wondering what that song was I was just singing, if you've never... If you don't listen to candle mask, you probably need to. That song... Splendor Demon Majesty is the first song off of... Ah, shit, what's that album called? I think it's called The Door to Doom or something. It's back from, like, 2009 or something like that. 2011, maybe. It's a really, really solid Candle Mass album. And if you don't listen to Candle Mass, you really should, because they're like a pioneering doom metal band, and they're so fucking good. Like, they're killer. Like, you talk about awesome music, go check out some Candle Mass. That album in particular, The, the Door to Doom, has uh, one song on that album. I think it's the third song. It's a song about, like, a some kind of giant octopus that, that consumes the earth, eats everything. Um, oh god, the tree sentinel. Um, guess we'll end this episode with him. That album, the third song on that album actually has a guest appearance of Tony Iommi of Black Sabbath. And I'll tell you what, man, if there's, if there's one person that you could get to play some kind of riff or lick on your album, it's that dude. Like, it doesn't get any better than him. He is the ultimate. Uh, I don't even know why I took this elevator down. Stupid. It's not going to get us to a grace or anything. The grace is going to be on the other side of this tree sentinel. Which, we'll end the episode with him and grab that grace and then we'll continue again next time. But, yeah man, go check that album out. The Door to Doom by Candlemass. It's super, super fucking good. It's really good peak doom metal. Um, Alright. We gotta, we gotta really take care of ourselves, you know what I mean? Alright. I'm gonna bow it up. Okay. He's probably gonna hear me. I doubt there's anything I can do to get a sneak hit on this guy, but... Maybe I can! That's fine, man. I missed! God, that hurt. No way! <laughs> oh shit! How am I alive? Dear God. Chug, 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 chug. I rolled too soon. Whatever. Ah! 
All right, listen, man. Let me get my bearings. Let me bubble up, okay? I ain't scared of you. And your stupid stomp. You don't even stomp. Ah! You don't even stomp as good as Godfrey, okay? Yeah, I said it. No, 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 no. All right. He clearly is taking that incredibly personal. It went through the wall. <laughs> oh, God. What won't go through the wall if that did? That's the question. <laughs> he was worth so much more than 3,800 runes. Are you kidding me? Okay, he was guarding that, but still. I can't believe he didn't kill me. Like, how much health did I have left? I don't even want to look. I don't think I could have in the heat of the moment. Okay, I think there should be a grace past him that he was guarding. Potentially. Hopefully, so I'm not wrong. Oh, that's right. It's not the grace. It's a shortcut. Bam. This is the door that did not open from that side. Cool. So now what we're going to do is we're actually going to run straight back down, take the path that we that we were going to take before. What I'm looking for is I'm looking for the roof that has the stray fanged imp that we still haven't killed. I can actually see him already from here. So what we're looking for is a way to get on that roof, I think. I think that's what I want to do. Yeah, because there should be there should be an item near it, I think. Okay, and we could use, like, the cat ring or whatever, the cat talisman for this part. And I think what I'll do, though, is to alleviate that nonsense, I think I'll just do this. This would suffice, right? Yeah, let's go. Oh, hi! You're in my house now, boy. Damn it. You stop that. Oh, shit, a tier five? Hell yeah. All right. I don't think I can make it over there. I highly doubt it, at least. Uh, that's where I should have dropped. Shit. Or good. Whatever. Oh, wait, never mind. He's right here. This is where I needed to get to. I think there's something like one stray item and it might be near him. I'm like, I'm looking around just to make sure. Everything looks dead. I like that. Okay, nothing. There was nothing over here. That's fine. All right. Not mad about that. Perfectly okay. Ha ha! Look at that. See that? I'm telling you, that's why I wanted to go back up, because I know for a fact we didn't get everything. We just didn't. I'm simply not that thorough. Yeah. Think I'm gonna get got? Fan daggers. We have way too many of those. I don't really use them. I mean, I should. I totally should, because it's a dexterity scaling weapon. Like, I, I quite literally don't have a viable excuse to not use them. I just... I don't. Get this. Lots of runes. Thank goodness. And then the Erd Tree avatar, I think, is going to appear in this alleyway. I think it might be time for Battle Mage Hughes. Oh, wait. I put him on my thing. Check that out. He's my left button. That's the world's cutest pet name. Come here, my little left button. Okay, did I miss anything out here? No? Okay. Nothing out here where the tree... Or wait, did I call him a tree sentinel? I think I just called him a tree sentinel. I meant crucible knight. God. Um, one is clearly way worse than the other. Alright, that should be... Damn it, now I'm paranoid. I feel like I have to go check every corner now. 
I was going to say that should be everything in this courtyard, but I don't want to say that until we know for sure. Okay, yeah, we're good. Cool. <clears throat> and that, uh, that little elevator section right here that we just took down, that'll take us down to where the ulcerated tree spirit section is, but we're not going to do that. We're going to do the other one first. We're going to do the, the Erd tree avatar first. But we're at time, so we're actually going to save that for the next episode. So, all right, we made it, guys. We're in the capital. So far, so good. We haven't died yet. Um, the amount of health that I had left from that, I had to have, how much health do I have? Uh, where does it say, how much health do I have? 1,504, so I had to, he had to have had me for 1,503 health on that hit, for sure. Because, <laughs> like, I may as well have died. But um, I think the Radon rune probably saved us there with that extra health. Because I'm telling you right now, if we had been if we had been Godfrey rune art, we probably would have died right there. Because um, Radon, it'll, because of the level we're at and the, it's percentage based, I think, on our vigor, um, we had more health from the Radon rune. But uh, all right, this is pretty pretty good start to the capital. We're finally here, tackling probably the second most challenging place in the game, or uh, well, third maybe. Halotree is a little worse, but. Uh, Thank you guys so much for continuing to join me on the in-depth playthrough of Elden Ring. I've been your faithful host, Let's Put Dark Souls HD. I'll catch you guys in the next video.